So back in March, February, yeah. March, 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 we actually named our first round of winners. And uh, when we selected them, this is another important thing. This is, again, about the people. Give them a phone call. Picked up the phone, literally a P&G or a bridge person, picked up the phone and called to, to congratulate them. This isn't one, some, some out there fulfillment agency we don't even know about. This is about building a personal connection with the, with the brand and with the people who want to help them achieve their passions. So we, uh, we gave them a phone call to share the good news that they were going to be sponsored by Prolisic OTC. Followed up with a little bit of more personal connection. We sent them their welcome kit, their congratulations kit, and included, of course, branded paraphernalia, things like that. Also, a, a flip cam so that they can try to capture um, how Prolisec OTC's uh, sponsorship has been able to let them live their passion you know, unapologetically without heartburn. So it was just this welcome kit. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. So the, then the power comes in, really, where they start talking to their community about how Prilosec OTC has um, impacted their passion. So they go into their reach network. So whether they have blogs or followers or fans or just personal connections with people in their community, um, and that's where they, uh, they, start, they start amplifying this message around their, their spheres of influence. And of course, we did partner with, with a few of these officials we partnered with them to generate some PR opportunities, both in broadcast and, and printed media. So we highlight some of the officials that we've sponsored um, so that they could get a little um, exposure for either their personal passion or what they're trying to do, as well as for this program. So in combination, when you think about this ecosystem, um, through our owned media, through our earned media, and through our bought media, we established this ecosystem, right? So this entire ecosystem, like Mark, um, talked about that's um, driving engagement and personal emotional commitment to the brand. It's not just about does Prilosa Gutisi work to treat my heartburn. It's about personal commitment to the brand. So in the past when we've thought about sponsorships and we think about how can we talk to consumers about our brand benefit through these sponsorships, it, we, we stopped that. We said this isn't about how we get our message out. This is about how we get our message. They give us a message back through individual sponsorship. So visits to the officialsponsor.com website um, have um, outpaced what we get on like our branded website, which has um, more significant iMedia and traffic kind of uh, driving um, marketing and spend. But it doesn't. This, this, these metrics don't capture anything like our Facebook visits or any of our Twitter followings or anything like that. This is just the official sponsor.com actual website. So, um, you know, as the beginning of a program, it's actually doing extremely well. The voting, which is dr driving more consumer engagement, um, of course, voting peaks during times when the sponsorship um, period or the application period ends, which you would expect. And so you see the peaks around those times. But um, generally, we're feeling really good about the engagement we're getting from a voting level. So the four vectors that Mark kind of talked to before, this program really works so far, and we see so much power in it because we're actually trying to tap into the four emotional drivers um, to drive that connection. There are four emotional drivers in action, the passion, the status, making them officials, um, experience, and empowering consumers, powering people to do what they love. So those four things are really empowering the smaller network to start of people to really start driving this emotion, having this emotional connection, and continuing to expand it out to all their spheres of influence and people that, that um, they can um, talk to about Prilosec OTC. So really, this po program is poised to grow because it was built for, designed for, um, all of the thinking behind it was genuinely inspired by this purpose, and uh, it was built, um, it's kind of cliche, but you know, by the people, for the people. So it's, it's really genuinely for that. It's, it's sure, we hope we're driving this emotional connection. We believe we're driving this emotional connection and it will pay off in the long term. This isn't about the short, short term ROI from it. Um, but the, at the end of the day, you want to have your most dedicated, loyal consumers with you forever. And that's what we were trying to build is these dedicated consumers. Good. Do you want to wrap think, up? So hopefully we we got across the points that we wanted to share, and hopefully they're value, but uh, commitment equals rational plus emotional. Emotional drivers are passion, status, experience, and empowerment. 
uh, purposes uh, a great way to tell our story. And to activate people, we need to be both aspirational and personal. And the digital implications are that there are newfound abilities and expectations for both of us. And we have not just an opportunity, but an obligation to take advantage of it. So thank you very much. Great. Sorry we went over there a little bit. No, you're great. Great.